it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to share with you the swatches and counting thoughts na rin about the Vice Cosmetics. So I got this nga pala as a gift from Toby because I just celebrated my birthday last October. So he got me this. So thank you Toby for this. I really appreciate it. Dahil sinusuportahan mo ang aking kakikaya ng aking kaadikan sa mga makeup and stuff. So thank you for that. So ito na yung complete set ng Vice Cosmetics. So I have the Phenomenal Lip Kit which has the liquid lipstick and the lip liner. And I have the Good Vibes lipstick here. So hindi na ako magbibigay ng thorough review. Kasi I know a lot of YouTubers have done it already. So more on swatches na lang yung review na to. And counting thoughts lang kung anong masasabi ko about the lipsticks. And as well as my favorites, is share ko na ko ano yung mga nagustuhan ko shades from the line. So if you wanna see the swatches, just keep on watching. So first of all, yung masasabi ko, it's well packaged. The lipstick, yung nasa bullet form, I really love the color. Yung fuchsia, I believe it's fuchsia pink. And as well as the lip kit na talagang pinag-isipan nila yung pagpapackage. So, it has a nice shade selection. Lalo na for Asian skin tone like us. Na perfect siya for everyday. And hindi mo iisipin na sobrang mura lang nito. Kasi the bullet lipstick is for only 195 pesos. And the Phenomenal Lip Kit which has two products in it na is only 295. So, sobrang sulit na siya. And for the quality, I can say na okay naman. about the Good Vibes lipstick. Lightweight siya and it's a creamy matte and as you can see it does transfer pero okay lang siya kasi lightweight talaga siya and I can say na parang para siyang creamy matte ng Maybelline. It glides smoothly on the lips. For the pigmentation naman, you have to go back and forth kasi you have to build it up for you to see the pigmentation of the lipstick. Medyo hindi siya ganun ka-pigmented. So for my favorite shades, halos lahat maganda yung mga shades. Lalo na yung mga nudes, talagang wearable siya for everyday. Pero kung pipili ako, my favorite would be yung Good Vibes. Mga perfect nude lang siya. Next is Aura. Pinkish nude siya or mauve nude. So nakikita ko sa kanya yung Touch of Spice from Maybelline's Creamy Matte. Then, yung Caring Carry, brownish nude siya kasi ganun yung mga bet kong shades talaga for everyday. So, yun. So, the, the scent. So, the scent nga pala, mabango siya. It's like, it's a sweet scent. And I like it. Pero meron na akong naamoy na medyo off yung scent niya. Yung pack ganun. Medyo amoy plastic siya. Ito lang talaga. Iba yung amoy. Unlike dun sa iba. But, but, but that's okay. It, that's what I'm wearing right now. Yung pack ganun. Okay na siya. So, I tried using this na for a whole day. And hin and I can say na hindi siya long lasting. After eating, mabubura na talaga siya. Especially on the inner part. Halos lahat naman ang lipsticks ganun. But it can be easily retouched. Kaya okay siya. I don't mind naman yung hindi niya pagka long lasting. Yung pagka lightweight talaga niya. I really love it. And I can see myself wearing this all the time.
it for the lip phenomenon lip kit. I hindi ko na tinra yung mga lip liner kasi from what I watch na from other YouTubers na ba na puputo siya. So hindi ko na siya tinra. And I don't really usually wear naman lip liners. Nag straight na ako sa liquid lipstick. For my thoughts about the liquid lipstick. When you apply it, it's oily at first. Mararamdaman mo na medyo parang oily siya. But it dries to a really matte finish. And it glides smoothly then. Maganda yung applicator niya. It's a doe foot applicator. And okay naman siya for gliding on the lips. So there are shades na medyo patchy, lalo na yung mga lighter shades. Like the Benjamin, ito, light siya, and the Pony, yung dalawang light, medyo nagiging patchy siya. Nagiging patchy siya. Nagiging patchy siya sa akin. Hindi nalabas yung pigment niya. So, kailangan mo pa siyang i-layer up. As well as this one, what I'm wearing right now is the Showtime. Medyo patchy din siya. Parang darker siya sa taas, tapos sa baba, medyo nagiging hindi nalabas yung pigment niya. You can build it up naman. So, yung Showtime lang naman yung ganun. Yung ibang lipstick, hindi naman ganun. Then, it can easily be removed lang. So, yung ginagamit ko, ito yung Garnier Micellar, Micellar Cleansing Water. Ito yung ginagamit kong pang-remove dun sa liquid lipsticks. And, mabilis lang siyang matanggal. Unlike other liquid lipsticks, and yung mga lip tints, ang hirap. Yung iba ang hirap tanggalin kahit dapat talaga oil base yung gagamitin mong makeup remover. Pero ito, micellar or micellar water, okay na. I tried using this na rin for the whole day. So, when worn, it's a bit drying. Gaya na rin ang sabi ng ibang mga ibang mga nag-review. Oo, drying siya, pero I can tolerate yung pagka-dry niya. Kasi pag natuyo naman na siya, medyo nagiging lightweight na rin siya. And hindi talaga siya nagbabulge. It does not transfer at all. Kasi talagang matte finish siya. Mas drying pa nga sa akin yung color pop na ultra matte lipstick. Ito, tolerable siya. So, for the scent nga pala, yung naamoy ko sa kanya, it's like the soft matte lip cream, yung ganto. This one. Medyo pareho sila ng amoy. Pero yung consistency niya sa lips, hindi parang yung mix. But, nakakompare ko siya dito sa Jordana. Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color. Ganon yung pagka-dry niya na, na tolerable din naman. It lasts super long even when you eat or drink. But except na lang siguro yung mga oily foods. Siyempre, lahat naman natatanggal ng liquid lipsticks. Pag oily food na yung kinakain mo. Lalo na sa inner part. So what I can suggest kung talagang dry siya for you, put a lip gloss first. Kasi tinay ko na yun kasi nga medyo dry siya. Naglagay mo na ko ng lip balm and the lip balm that I use is this Carmex yung strawberry na lip balm kaya medyo hindi siya nagfi-feeling dry and kung ayon yung mag lip balm so I suggest na exfoliate first your lips para hindi siya mag crack so one layer is enough na so it won't be that drying I tried it na i layer up medyo talaga nagiging drying siya as in Yun yung hindi ko na matolerate na dryness. Kasi medyo na mumo siya and nagka-crack na yung lips ko. And I can say na I will be wearing this pa. So for my favorite shades nga pala, first is this Swoops Kiri na mauve And then this girly na medyo nudish peach siya or medyo nag-orange na ng konti. Then this Phenom. I really love this. Para siyang cool toned red blue tone na red na nakaka-whiten talaga nung teeth. <laughs> nakaka-whiten nung teeth ng ngipin pag suot mo to. I love this. Pero I don't, kasi hindi naman ako masyara nagsusuot ng mga bold colors, lalo na for everyday. Kaya siguro minsan ko lang ito magagamit. Pero I will reach out for this talaga kasi ang ganda nung pagka-red niya. Then lastly is the unicorn medyo plum. Slight lang na plum yung color niya. And I love this. So yun, four shades yung favorite ko. So that's it na for the swatches of the Vice Cosmetics lipsticks. And masakit pala siya sa lips best. Masakit mag-swatch. Lalo na to, 16 shades to. But good thing na lang na hindi nga siya ganun kahirap tanggalin. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. 
comment down below and please subscribe to my channel and i hope i see you on my next one bye